Paul Market contradicts its Oracle service and rarity for prediction market. Nearly all UMA voters agreed that Donald Trump's son Barron was not likely involved in the DJT meme token. In a rare move, Paula Market has contradicted its decentralized Oracle service UMA with regard to the resolution of a market betting on whether Baron Trump was likely involved with the DGT token. Neither Baron, Trump nor Donald Trump's campaign has made an official statement about the token. Paula Market has signaled it may overrule UMA, a decentralized Oracle service that referees the fast-growing platform's crypto-based prediction markets. Controversy has been brewing for days since UMA resolved a market asking whether it was more likely than not that Baron Trump, son of the former U.S. president, was involved in a meme coin called DJT. The Oracle service decided several times the answer was no, and holders of yes shares protested. On Wednesday, Paula Market said it believed UMA got it wrong, and it would soon announce a fix. Paula Market's surprise move is the latest wrinkle in the two-week-long saga of DJT, a Trump-themed memicoin that neither the Trump campaign nor Barron has acknowledged or denied being involved in. This market will resolve to yes if a preponderance of evidence suggests that Barron Trump was involved in the creation of the Solana token dollar DJT. Otherwise, this market will resolve to no, the contract on Paula Market read. Determination as to whether Barron was involved in the creation of dollar DJT will be made by this market's decentralized resolver, UMA, and will take into account all available evidence as of 12 p.m. ET, June 23. Whenever the outcome of a prediction market is disputed, UMA, a decentralized optimistic oracle, is brought in to resolve it with UMA token holders voting on the outcome. In the case of the DJT market, an overwhelming majority of UMA holders voted for the no resolution. In total, bettors put more than $1 million on the line, and, amid the radio silence from the Trump family and campaign, Martin Farmabro S. H. Crowley, a convicted felon, has been adamantly making public statements that Barron was involved. On Wednesday, S. H. Crowley posted a series of screenshots on X purporting to show one of his associates saying that he's trying to get Barron to come out of his shell, but that lawyers are likely advising the former president's son not to talk. This isn't the first time UMA as a method of contract resolution has faced controversy. Questions on what it meant to find the missing Ocean Gate submersible which imploded near the wreckage of the Titanic put its relationship with Paula Market in the spotlight last fall. In May, this relationship was once again tested when some bettors questioned if an Ethereum exchange traded. Fund ETF was approved. UMA resolved the contract to yes, or if it was still working its way through the bureaucratic leviathan of the Securities and Exchange Commission. Paula Market CEO Shane Copeland didn't immediately respond to a request for comment about what the fix for this current UMA controversy would be, or the timeline for its implementation. The DJT token is down 7% on day, according to Unchained Data.